root for your home team, and be there for all of the excitement. NSAAHome.org has all your high school sports championship ticket information. Welcome back inside the Heartland Events Center in Grand Island, Nebraska. It is game six of seven for the Heartland Hoops Classic, and we are getting set for, I guess, Mike's most anticipated matchup yeah. of the weekend. Bishop Walsh taking on Bellevue West, the number one ranked team in the state of Nebraska. We just saw a top 10 team from Nebraska in Westside beat Real Salt Lake. But Mike, this one you had circled a couple weeks ago and yeah. both teams, teams playing well coming into this one. Yeah, I, I think both, I think this is a pretty evenly matched game, honestly. Um, after watching, I don't know, I've seen Bellevue West, I don't know how many times this year. Uh, but after watching Bishop Walsh last night, I, I really think it's gonna be about the guards. I, I do. Um, now, you look at Bellevue West, you look at Bishop Walsh in warm-ups, you're like, oh boy, this is not a fair fight. Um, but the guard play, I think, is pretty even, right? pretty fair. Josiah Dotzler, uh, Creighton commit. Um, Mike Williams going to LSU, but that's two power conference guys. Yep. I think both are pretty good. Both are very capable and willing passers and shooters and both pretty talented. The, guy, the key for me tonight is Michael Tyne. Uh, for Bishop Walsh. Whoever he guards of the three guards that Bellevue West normally plays with, and they'll start three, Eldon Turner, Jaden Jackson, Josiah Dotzer, whoever he guards is going to have a, a, a tough night. They're, they're going to be frustrated tonight. Right. So then the, the question becomes, how can Bellevue West overcome a significant height disadvantage in the post? Well, that's that's especially defensively, but I don't know. Bishop Walsh didn't go to that last night at all. But so like, you just gonna have to box out and use your body. Right. Robbie Garcia is a sophomore that's had a huge week, uh, year for them. Jacob Rope has some girth and size and athleticism. They're gonna have to box out. They, they just are. They're gonna have to uh, really learn it. And now I will say this: um, Bellevue West last night. Um, it showed me uh, they, they had a rivalry game. I think Bellevue West has to clearly use their uh, just physicality, hips, all those things. They're, they're really well coached. Doug Ward is the best coaches that we have in the state. Um, and it, frankly, in my opinion, I think the coaching, there's, there's, a, there's a pretty big gap. Right. So it should be fun to watch. We're going to listen in to the starting lineups for Bishop Walsh and Bellevue West. Bishop Walsh in the black. We are ready to go for game six of the Heartland Hoops Classic on a Saturday night on the plains of Nebraska. Bell, uh, Bishop Walsh in their black uniforms. Bellevue West, the home team, in their whites. A lot of times in these big games in Nebraska teams, it's, it's, you just got to weather the early storm, I guess. Jackson on tight. Those are two pretty good defenders. Right. I like that match. Uh, 15 on the shot clock. It's a 35-second shot clock in this game and out of bounds and an early turnover. 
for Bishop Walsh. Josiah Kennedy had a really nice game last He's night. A really nice player. And we're going to talk a lot about Mike Williams, a fantastic athlete. Like Mike said, going to LSU. Jaden. Jaden Jackson. Nice ball. Back movement. out. Josiah Big Dotzler. early three for him. And Dotzler, he's a kind of guy, he's a he's a stat stuffer. It's 16 points, four rebounds, five assists, two and a half steals. He's gonna be doing a lot of things in this game. Michael time with the buck. Tyne is my, like, watching them last night, he's my favorite player. Got to get that rebound. Rebounding or making open shots like that's going to be huge, but rebounding. Yeah. This is, uh, that's going to be an issue to watch in this game is uh, Williams. He can nice fly pat. in the front court and that. Tyne and Jaden Jackson, <laughs> two <laughs> extremely good on-ball defenders playing each other. This is going to be fun. Josiah Kennedy, who had that. Oh, Ooh, Jaden Jackson splashes the three on the inbounds. Hey, man. He can shoot. He can really shoot. At one point earlier in this year, in through nine games, he was shooting 50% from three. That's pretty good. Time. It wasn't like one of two. Right. That's a nice box out, though. That was a great box out as Akuda reached over the top and knocked it out of bounds. Couple of early threes for the Thunderbirds of Bellevue West, top ranked team in the state. In the always solid Metro Conference. And a little block there by Mike Williams. Hansy. Israel Bosengi into the game for Bishop Walsh. Yeah, Jaden Jackson is 54 of 123 from behind the arc this year. That is 44%. That's pretty good. So he's cooled off a little bit is what you're saying. That's pretty good. <laughs> no, just shoot the ball. Yeah. Elvin, just shoot the ball. Elvin Turner just needs to shoot the ball. Right there. What are you, what are you waiting, scared of? He's wide open. Eight, eight feet away, nobody guarding yet? Yeah. Got to make take that shot. This is the matchup, the two stars. Dotzler and Williams. By the way, isn't Josiah Dotzler like 22 now? No. Well, he seems like he's been in high school forever. I mean, he may or may not be a year older than a nice play. That Gotta is a good that play. Rebound. Vasengi with the and one opportunity. Size, definite advantage for Bishop Walsh. I think that's clear. Yes. Jacob a rope into the game for Bell West. But the free throw goes wanting. So still a two point lead for the Thunderbirds. Jose McMorris, you have two kind of football recruits in the game right now. McMorris, really nice basketball player, great athlete, quick twitchy. Hey. Another three attempt there Sorry. from Sorry. Jackson. And here comes the Spartans the oh. of Bell West, of Bishop Walsh. A mismatch here. If they... I post for oh, We got elbowed in the face. Kick nice. it out, the three from Kennedy, no. And rope the rebound. Josiah Kennedy last night was tremendous. You can see why just a freshman, he's going to be a real, oh, up and under. Whoa, Great. Dotzler with a finish. You can see why Kennedy is, gonna, is a high major prospect and has the offers in And Dotzler, Dotzler with a steal. steal. Hey. And we just saw in the previous game that happened against Bell, or against uh, Westside. And then Dotzler yeah. with four points in a matter of seconds. Quick four. This is a nice, like, confidence buckets there. I'm not scared. I mean, I don't know. Had someone. Oh, hey, look at the big fella. A rope on the floor. First to the floor get generally a wins. Jump and ball. the jump ball goes Bell West. Bell US wins. How First about to that? the floor wins. They're going to play hard. Right? No doubt. 
Yeah. And, and how about a rope laying out there, forces the jump ball. Rest of the team is like, all right, yeah, here we go. No, it's, that's it's just a confidence. Thing. Yeah, let's take another look at that. And On the JBC replay. Play offensive tackle for nothing. Right? Dotzler with his dribble. He's got to stay in that screen a little longer. Up and around the three-pointer on the way from Polacek. Steven Polacek, is, he is a gunner. Like, he's their three-point shooter. That's what he does. Um, it's not all he does, but, I mean, that's why he's in the game, to hit shots like that. Take and make shots like that. He will have a big role for them next year, just a junior. Ten four, halfway through the opening period. This match here. It's Matt Selman with his dribble. Garcia and the rope playing at the same time. They don't normally do that. Um, obviously tonight, yeah, you can't get yep. caught underneath that screen. Mike Williams with his first oh. bucket of the game. And then a turnover from Garcia there on the inbounds. Josiah Dotsu like, hey, slow down. Man. Williams, another one. That one's just off the front, though. Goetzler keys it ahead to McMorris. A rope goes for the tip. Can't get it. Got to get back. And now Williams at the other end. Finishes. Williams just decided not to play defense on that possession, so that's yep. what happened there. That's a bucket. A rope. Use your body. Got free. Good seal. Hey, they're not as tall, but they're a lot wider. Right. <laughs> yes. And he just used his body tremendously well right there. Exactly what she meant. Yeah, you got to get back. I think there was a, might have been a, travel. yeah, a travel yeah. first. Slid the feet. Check three really good Manny referees Okotondo. here. The, three really good referees that ref a lot of college in the area. And, you know, know what they're doing. Make a mistake? No. Nope. What happened? Didn't sub in in time, I guess, or check in properly? Didn't check in properly. Now Mike Williams can check in properly. <laughs> okay. But he's still not going to get a come feels in like just a, yet. That feels like a technicality that we can not slow the game down for <laughs> at this point. Well, if you're going to do it, do it right. Yeah. <laughs> a rope up top. Hands it off to Eldon Turn to the high post. Back to a rope in the lane. Gets the quick shot off, and then the rebound out of bounds off Okitondo. It will stay with Bellevue West. Now Williams checking in. Hey. From a rope, rope uh, taking that, he can hit him. Yeah, he did. He, he's hit him a couple times this year. That's just I'm not sure that's a shot in that situation you want. And Dotzer is probably gonna have to play the whole game unless he fouls out or major foul trouble. He's just gonna have to. Time for a three, no, and the rebound snatched by Robbie Garcia. A rope. Against Okatondo. Nice. Garcia right. comes down that was the lane. A great has dive it. to the basket. Yep. Robbie Garcia in Nebraska. He's been one of, I would say, this is fair. He's been one of the breakout performers this year as far as his high school season. So when I say breakout, I don't mean, oh, he was totally unknown because he was. He's right. played at a high level in the summer AU stuff in the past. When I say that, I mean ability to. Knock those down. Look at Jaden Jackson's length working. Oh, Whoa, big that, rebound by the little guy, Elder right, Turner. Got to be a foul. Smallest guy on the floor. On the wraparound? Yeah, we're going to get a foul on Okitondo. Yeah. That was cool. The big bear hug. Like big brother coming up and hugging yeah. you there. That was pretty cool. Good effort. That's the kind of effort they're going to have to have to win this game. It feels like Bishop Walsh is a lot more locked in tonight. Yes than they were last night. Opponent probably matters. Probably. 
Yeah, just good dive, nice good pass. finish. Oh, There's right. the, man, the recovery from Williams to get the swat, and then the three off the front, no good from Jackson. Gets the steal, steal. though. Stuby? Right back, Stuvey for three. Jane Jackson with another, another rebound. How many rebound. rebounds is that? Well, that's Jacob Lee. Or three rebounds. And there's row. Dotzler yeah. all the way in the finish. effort place. Uh-oh, Robbie Garcia's got a limp. He is not feeling good. This is not good. Uh-oh. Is that an ankle? Yeah, I have pretty on that heavily taped ankle coming into the game. Yeah, he is not. That's not good. That could be a game changer. Yeah, definitely. Or He's going to go see the trainer and check this out. Dotzler with 10 Dotzler's cooking. of Bellevue West 15 right now. Minute and a half to go in the opening period. He's cooking. Like he's very capable. Kennedy hands it off to Williams. Now Tyne on the near wing. Gets a screen, they'll switch it off Tyne for Williams, Mike tries to split the double team and Dotzler takes it away. Josiah leaves it for a rope. Back good, out, nice one pass. extra pass. The three is up it's and good. good. That's a great extra, great extra pass. Just like basketball should be played. Jaden Jackson, Jackson finally, that's his what, second three of the game. Two of, uh, I think five right now. 18 to 9, actually the score. Bellevue West on top will get the uh, scoreboard. Another effort. steal. And another for steal. Him. Here comes triple Jackson. Double He's not careful. Turner that hangs. Was that one blocked away, though. Tyne comes up, gets it to Kennedy. Ball. Oh, and good Kennedy. defense. I went off his oh, head. Off of Dotzler, then Kennedy, and out of bounds. We need to see a, a JBC replay on this Josiah one. Josiah Dotzler with the block off his head. Here it comes Dotzler straight down. How about no, Dotzler hanging on yeah. defense? He's ath more athletic than he gets credit for, that's for sure. Final 20 seconds, shot clock is off. Here at the end of the first period. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that he is, uh, this is gonna be a ball screen. Nope. He's coming back to him though. And the oh, that three. was a little quick, but that's oh, in. I check. said he's their three point gunner. He's a shooter. Why not? And Bishop Walsh unable to get a shot off. Fantastic start for Bellevue West. 21 to nine. Thunderbirds on top of Bishop Walsh. We'll come back for the second eight minutes of this one. You're watching the Heartland Hoops Classic on Strive TV. Dinsdale Automotive is celebrating our 20th anniversary, 20 years of building lifelong relationships, providing superior customer service, and supporting the community. Stop by Dinsdale Hyundai and experience the Ionic 5 Motor Trends 2023 SUV of the Year with ultra-fast charging time, 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes, and a range of over 300 miles. The Ionic 5 is a game changer. Discover all the premium features at an affordable price. Help us celebrate 20 years of service. Stop in today. Start of the second quarter, Bellevue West leading Bishop Walsh 21 to nine. Mike's been trying to tell people. Sometimes they don't listen though. That's Mike, right. this is not necessarily it's a surprise. A it's a really good start for Bellevue yeah, West. Let's not take away sense. anything from the Thunderbirds. There'll be more, I, I mean, both teams, right? I said, after watching Bishop Walsh play last night, I said, it's gonna be about the three guards. Right now, Josiah Diltzer, Dominating the game. Actually, Jaden Jackson and Josiah Dills are dominating yep. the game. Jaden Jackson has, I don't know how many rebounds right now. I'll find out. A bun. Like a five or six, yeah. I think. Yeah. A couple of steals. Tyne spots open on the three, and he knocks it down. I love Michael Tyne. 
Michael Tyne. Tyne with five, Williams with five for Bishop Walsh and a turnover for Bellevue West. I can't even say BW for either yeah, one of them. Yeah, normally you <laughs> abbreviate that. I can't add. Nice. Williams gets by a rope, kicks it out, up and around. It's a good matchup here. Gosh, I love 15 that. on the shot clock. Can't get lost. Jacob Rope can't get lost. Oh, he can't. Williams over. spots up on Dotzler and <laughs> splashes it down. <laughs> okay, Mike Williams with an eight in the game. He just said, take that. And a Whack. foul on Bishop Walsh, Wasengi, with the foul as a rope hit the deck on the setting the screen. Yeah, it's, it's, this is going to be tough. If no Robbie Garcia, that's they're going to need Robbie Garcia to play. He's, on Robbie's, the, he's, he's back, back on the to the bench. bench. But they, they to win this game, they're going to need him for sure. Man, Michael Tyne can guard you, boy. Yeah, oh, man, they can guard you. Dotzler. He can stop on a dime, no, too, yeah, can't he? I mean, this is what he does. Ball on the string, great handle. Might oh. have traveled. Might have got away with the travel there. Yeah. Time bringing it ahead. Dotzler blocked it away, but a foul. It's a rope is tired. It. He can't play the whole game. There's just no way. Well, Garcia's going to try it again. Yeah, he's, he's coming he's back. Gotta, he's, they've got to rotate those two to, to win this game. Michael Tyne to the free they throw do line. They go eight deep, but they only have two traditional-ish bigs. Um, Guard-heavy team, Bellevue Weston. Michael Tyne is good. Twenty-one seventeen, minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. The West needs a bucket. Yep. A little dry spell here. McMorris has it knocked out. Now Stuvie along the baseline. McMorris back to Stuvie. Out and around, 13 on the shot clock. The three good from Dotzler, no good. Stuvi oh, grabs good. it. Yeah. Jackson, no, Dotzler. Good board. Oh. Oh, they called Dotzler for the foul. He had the ball. Looked like he, he, was the the ball? he was the highest yeah. one, right? He died. Hey. There is no such thing as over the back. Absolutely. I, yes, you are correct. It's perfectly okay to jump, jump over, someone. over someone and grab a ball. He did bump him a little bit, but I... Me, I probably would have let that one go. I didn't think he bumped him until they came down. Mm. Anyway, Williams, Mike step Williams over up. three. Mm, nope, not that time. One step and pull up. Yeah, that is, is not going to be good for Robbie Garcia. He is way less than 100%. Yeah. Dotzler, though, able to finish. This isn't going to work. Yep. I mean, you're, if you could play four on five, you're going to do that. And Garcia just stay down there on defense. Or but just go straight guards and hope you can hang. Tyne. Gets to the rim that time. Four-point lead, Bellevue West. They haven't trailed in the game. Dotzler up top. Back to Stuvi for three. That's good. Big shot. First points of the game for Jackson Stuvi. Pushes the lead to seven. Five minutes to go, second quarter. Going to need... All of that from Stuvie yeah. and, and the likes. They're definitely going to have to hit outside shots, like a lot of them. Bishop Walsh very much so more engaged tonight. And then Garcia, Garcia gets a blocked block shot. Off of one foot. Can we track it down? I think probably the game plan here with the two bigs, you just go. Like a minute and a half on, Garcia's like two minutes playing. on and yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, give a rope a, a quick break. Obviously, Coach Woodard 
can use timeouts the best he can to give a rope a break. I, uh, yeah, yeah, gonna have to, gonna have to. This is a full really, timeout. Really be careful with that. Full timeout taken by Bishop Walsh. Josiah Dotzler on the JVC replay, powered by Strive AV. Big thank you to Strive AV. It's uh, our partner company uh, that handles the equipment side, uh, selling equipment, cameras, microphones, tripods, and the like. If there is an audio-visual need for your school, church, house of worship, uh, courthouse, perhaps. We've, we've done work in courthouses. Well, striveav.com is the website. Tell Jordan I said hi. Or Rambo. You might get Rambo, too. Hey, I've I've bought some stuff from you have? there before. Yeah. Multiple things. Good, co good customer service, right? right? I mean, <laughs> sure. You had an inside, <laughs> you, you had an inside it's, look. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. <laughs> right. It, it, the order process, very simple. We make it as easy as we can. It was pretty simple. I think I shot a text and was like, hey, I need this. And a day later, you had it, right? Or two. Right. Spartan basketball out of the timeout. 4.36 to go here in the second quarter. Four on the shot clock. Williams tries to turn the corner on Dotzler. Turns, fades. Good defense by Josiah. And out of there with it comes Polachek. Jaden Bullion. Uh Gonna need some run here too. Wait. Dotzler. Man, the handle and the finish He's from gonna, Josiah Dotzler. He is going to have to have a big game. Wow. Well, he is right now as Williams well, goes right to back, back to the other end. Defense too. Good gravy. Ten points for Williams. Ten points for Williams, nine for Tyne for Bishop Walsh. And here's a little 3-2 zone look. Giving Bell Bellevue West a different, different half court set they need to get into. Back to the left, Eldon Turner. Nope. Okatondo the rebound. Excuse me, Akuda. Yeah, Akuda. Hey. There's a three that misses everything from Slanina. Vilia Slanina. That's what he does. Yep. Quick three. Dotzler, he is feeling that. That one comes just off the front. Getting a little, getting a little choppy here offensively. Getting a little. Look, this is when the adrenaline wears off and you got to find that extra gear. Yep. He's got an extra gear. I know that. Tyne. <laughs> Tyne helping lead himself all the way to the rim, but does draw the foul at the point of contact. Eldon Turner with a foul. His first personal and the fourth team foul on the Thunderbirds. Two free throws here for Michael Tyne. Michael Tyne is one of those players. I, I love players like him. The undersized, mm -hmm. guard, tough, strong, physical, defend first guys. Love guys like him. He is, yeah. Him versus Jaden Jackson is, is a matchup of great defenders. Jackson's got a couple of threes in the game. Oh, we're going zone here. 3 2? Yep. Then 3 two. 3 2 zone. Last couple possessions, actually. Yeah, this is not. The length certainly changes things. But Polichick can't leave him, but he's got to be ready to shoot that ball. Yep. High post. Stuvi steps over, knocks it down. Jackson Stuvi with five points in the game. The lead is seven for Bellevue West. Yeah, Jaden Bullion is normally a guy, he's not even on the bench for Bellevue West. I don't, I don't see him at all. Um, he's normally a can, can provide some. Uh, pressure and, and post dev. Oh man, Jeez. that's my guy. Can I call him my guy? <laughs> is, is it your guy? I'm, he is now. But fourteen he's, for time Bo right now. Bullion's not even here, and he would have helped as far as oh, oh wow, man, that was a rope stuffed by Slanina. Bellevue West ball in the jump. 
but back to Bullion, he, he he would totally help with some. I mean, he's not tall, but like girth and strength and post and boxing out and rebounding and all that. Not not having him tonight with Garcia in the looks like ankle. I'm not gonna. I don't know that for a fact, but he would totally help. Bell West going oh, total going. small ball right oh, now. Garcia oh yeah, and a rope out of the game. Basically five guards in there. Man. There's a quick three on the inbounds. Could set. And Jaden Jackson with his third three of the game. Shoot it, man. Six total threes for Bellevue West so far here in the first half. Cameron Fleming. Looking to make a move, gets stuck. Good defense, good help defense that time by Jackson. Now Mike Williams goes to work. Steps back for the three, no. Here comes Eldon Turner and the Thunderbird offense. Stuvey lines up the three, that's off the front. There's Dotzler with another offensive rebound and another crack at it. Jackson for three, got that one. Jaden Jackson, <laughs> four threes in the first half. He is. That people can disagree with me all they want. In my opinion, he is the best junior in Nebraska that's playing basketball, that's what I mean. Mike Williams gets another finish on the other end. 12 points for Williams right now. Jackson, oh, Tyne let Jackson go. Jaden then spins, drives, can't get it. The rebound tipped out. Dotzler for three. Oh, that don't good. Rebound. Another like offensive rebound for Jackson. Oh, Polacek, that one had blocked. Point. Tyne's got it. Kick it out. Picked off. Dotzler, one on one with Kennedy. Dotzler, ooh, oh, takes a big felt contact. A little. Mm. Yeah, that was kind of. Dotzler able to get up. We're going to take another look at this one. Yeah, there wasn't much going after the ball there, just kind of a run into him. But Dotzler going to shoot two free throws. Fifteen points right now for Josiah Dotzler here in the first half. I'm going to run out of room on my lines for him. I have a feeling tonight. Ten point Thunderbird lead. Shot clock is off. Final 25 seconds here of the first half. Tying with McMorris on him. Now 10 to go. Hey man, the one thing Bellevue West won't do is play zone. <laughs> back to Williams. He will Ooh. pop a long three off the back. No good. The rebound is going to be tipped back to half court. And the fabulous first half for Bellevue West ends in a 10-point halftime lead, 38-28. That was a inter very entertaining half. Absolutely. Bridger Cruz is going to be courtside here in just a little bit. Mike. Jenkins is supposed to be the assistant coach. We played basketball at Omaha. So we're going to see Bridger and Coach Jenkins here just in a moment in front of the Shrive AV banner. 38 28 is our score. Great pace. Great Fantastic pace. pace. We're going to send it down to Bridger. I'm here with the head coach of the Bellevue West Thunderbirds. Quick start, what, 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 what was going well so far in this first half? Well, clearly we're shooting the ball really well. Um, I think we've hit about you know seven or eight threes. Um, so the kids are really sharing it. Uh, we're shooting it well. Uh, we just gotta keep that going. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be closing out on us a little harder, so we might have to adjust and um, you know maybe start getting into a paint a little bit more. And then any other halftime adjustments you plan on making coming out of the second half? Uh, I think just de defensively, we're gonna have to squeeze the paint a little bit more. Uh, 23 is kind of getting in the paint, doing whatever he wants, and we want to make them settle for jump shots, uh, you know, with their athleticism. So hopefully, just lock in a little bit more on defense, and uh, hopefully, we come out victorious. And uh, how are you helping combat? You know, Bishop Walsh, they got a lot of D1 commits. They're tall, they're athletic. How are you helping combat that as you are now up in the first half? Oh, it just comes down to toughness, man. You know, we just gotta we gotta battle. Obviously, we're we're kind of outsized at every position, man. But um, the kids are playing hard, and hopefully, we can keep it up for another half. 
Sounds great. Couldn't have, couldn't have asked for better answers. Um, good luck for the rest of the second half, and back to you guys. 38-28, Bellevue West leading over Bishop Walsh here at the half. Mike, we don't have the full stats yet, but just the, the initial impression, Bellevue West handled pretty much everything. I mean, there, there's still some going to be some issues out there. The depth, the, what's the inside game going to look like, but Bishop Walsh hasn't gone inside just That's yet. That's what I said <laughs> I, I, we said it after watching them last night. Hey, yes, they have all this size, but they're guard-oriented. They really are. Now, Mike Eltine, huge first half for Bishop Walsh. Really can defend. Him and Jaden Jackson are going at each other. It's been great. Hitting threes, making baskets, getting tips and deflections and steals. Josiah Dotzler has been the star, and he yep. is a star. Um, of the two stars, he's winning so far. So far. 10-point lead for Bellevue West, 38-28. We'll come back with some halftime highlights. You're watching the Heartland Hoops Classic on Strive TV. For your home team and be there for all of the excitement. NSAAHome.org has all your high school sports championship ticket information. Thirty-eight twenty-eight. our halftime score. Take a look at the first half highlights, the JVC replays powered by Strive AV. Let's take a look at some of these. And we had, had plenty to choose from in that first half. Uh, the ball movement for Bellevue West, really good. Josiah Dotzler knocking down that particular three. Dotzler, we're going to probably say Josiah's name a few times during these highlights. Great up and under, a little floater finish. Uh, he's, got the, he's got the shots. He's got the game. And and uh, there's a reason that he's going to be playing really good at Creighton here uh, next year and the, for a few years to come. Gets the steal there. Had his own little mini 4-0 run. Uh, but on the other end for Bishop Walsh, it's a two-headed monster right now. Michael Tyne, 14 points. Mike Williams with 12 points in that first half for the uh, Spartans. They have 26 of the team's 28 points. Like Mike said, it is not about the, uh, the post play offensively for Bishop Walsh. It is the two guys. It is Williams and Tyne making it happen, but Josiah Dotzler has just been fantastic. 16 points here in the first half. And Jaden Jackson, I think we're going to get one of these shots here in a little bit. Nope, this is pretty much all Dotzler. I think we're seeing all 16 points right now. Uh, but Jaden Jackson hit four big threes, part of seven as a team that, uh, that Bellevue West hit. There's Jackson Stuby with a nice shot in the, uh, in the high post area the offensive rebounding. Uh, Dotzler here hits Jackson for the three. Jaden Jackson has been fantastic on the offensive glass so far in this ball game. Uh, and on the other end, there's Tyne, or uh, Kennedy, who is scoreless so far, leaves that one back for Mike Williams. So some really fun high-level play, and it's going to be really interesting. The post defense is just as important, I think, for uh, Bellevue West as what they could get out of their offensive guys as well. Halftime, Bellevue West 38, Bishop Walsh 28. Come back for the second half of action from the Heartland Hoops Classic in Grand Island, Nebraska. Tom Dinsdale Automotive is celebrating our 20th anniversary. 20 years of building lifelong relationships. 20 years of providing superior customer experiences. 20 years of supporting the community. For 20 years, we've been building trust and loyalty by treating every customer like family on every visit. We're proud to serve Grand Island and the surrounding areas. Thank you for 20 great years, and we look forward to many more. 
Help us celebrate 20 years of service. Stop in today. Tom Dinsdale Automotive is celebrating our 20th anniversary. 20 years of building lifelong relationships, providing superior customer service, and supporting the community. Stop by Dinsdale Hyundai and experience the Ionic 5 Motor Trends 2023 SUV of the Year with ultra-fast charging time, 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes, and a range of over 300 miles. The Ionic 5 is a game changer. Discover all the premium features at an affordable price. Help us celebrate 20 years of service. Stop in today. So Rambo, I want to come back now. Root for your home team and be there for all of the excitement. NSAAHome.org has all your high school sports champions. 38-28 here at the half. Bellevue West leading Bishop Walsh. Fantastic first half. Josiah Dosler, so good. Yeah, you, 16 points in that first yeah, half. Yeah, 16 points. Um, Jaden Jackson had four threes. With, that's all 12 of his points. Is at least still trying to find out the offensive rebound number. But right. the one possession, he had three. So I think I'm going to go with five right now until I find out for sure. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure he has about five offensive rebounds. And, and that was something that I had mentioned during the, our, our uh, halftime highlights was the offensive rebounds. And, and Jackson's been fantastic, but it's really kind of been a, a group effort too. The offensive yeah. rebounding and ability and willingness to go crash the offensive boards has really been there for Bellevue West. They've got some, a ton of second chance. Let's see in the second half if Bishop Walsh tries to go inside. They just aren't. They, they, they're guard oriented. They're not using the size. I mean, they have 6'10, 6'8, all that stuff. Three guys have scored, scored, and two of them are the guards. Right. And uh, Basengi isn't necessarily a traditional post uh, in that regard. Uh, he got his basket on a uh, on a wraparound pass because Williams drove. Uh, that's just kind of where, where things are at uh, for the Bishop Walsh offense. It is 12 points for Mike Williams, 14 for Mike Heltine, and two. For Israel Bosengi, the, that LVS is West is going to have to have the same energy here. They're going to come out with the same amount of energy to finish this one off. Going to take another 16 minutes, and we've got eight right now on the third quarter clock as Bishop Walsh will have it first here in the second half. That is Mike Williams with the ball, guarded by Josiah Dotzler. The injury situation, if you, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, didn't right watch now. it right at the beginning. If, yeah. if, you have, if you're just tuning in now, I don't know why you are, since it's pay-per-view. <laughs> um, but Robbie Garcia injured in that first half. He is very clearly hobbled. I don't know that yeah, we will it see Robbie. It looks like Robbie. he came into the game with some a heavy ankle tape. Yep. Oh, good deal. Nice little Five on play. the shot clock. Guarantee he's pulling up. Yep. And softly <laughs> into that night. 
Williams with the three. 15 there. points now for Mike Williams. When there's five sets, he's pulling up three. Yeah. Face. Kick. Dotzler fakes the pass. His three will not fall. And out of bounds is Williams. Tried to keep that left foot up. He even telling the official, no, 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 I stepped on my own foot. Jaden Jackson officially four offensive rebounds in the first half. That's, that's the official stats. That's, yeah. yeah. If Jacob says four, I'll go with that. No, it's the official. He said three. Oh, okay. Bellevue West stats say four. Trust it. A rope going to work on Okitano kicks it out. Nice job, Stewie. Dotes lurk. Got that one. Big three. Gosh. 19 points for Josiah Dotzler. Two threes. And the lead back to 10. I think that star is uh, shining a little more than the other one in this game so far. Uh oh. Tyne slips in he the lane. He slipped because Jacob Rope slipped and made a <laughs> puddle on the floor. <laughs> I'll tell you, the mop, I don't know about the puddle, mop guys. But it was pretty. Right? The mop guys have been busy in this one. Wow. They've been busy all day. Sweat now too. Kennedy, who has not scored, he, he had a nice game last night. He did. Oh, and, oh he got oh, stuffed oh. and then off his head. Jay Twice. Jackson That's two again. Two blocks that have went off his head to go out of bounds. Dotzler got one in the first half. That was Jaden Jackson on defense. And we're going to see it again. Right. Remember that time I said that he was a great uh, defender? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I remember, Mike. I yeah, listened. That was early in the first half? Yeah. All right. Oh. That was a don't not slur. great pass. Just run under it. Don't foul him. Oh, oh and the and one just opportunity for Bosengi. Give him the two. All you got to do is just kind of, that one, you just don't give him the extra point. Yeah. You just say, all right, you did it. More power to you. You know this five guard lineup again. Yep. It's Stephen really Polachek again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's either five guards or one with a rope. Right. In the post, so. I think at this point, Robbie Garcia is an emergency. Ooh. Well, they didn't give up that extra point. Just the five. Yep. Bosengi is up. 0 for 2 on three-point play shooting. attempts. Jackson at the That's other end five threes gets for it. Him. That's 15 points. That's a good math, he Mike. Well shoot. done. I know. Quick math. It was that elementary math that I I passed those. I don't know about the other parts of math. <laughs> Kick it out. The three from Williams. That's a nice answer from Mike Williams because why not? 18 points for Mike and a timeout taken yeah. by Bishop Walsh. They're not going to go away. <laughs> the stars are shining, that is for sure. Yeah. Uh, We're getting what we, our money's worth on that, what we, what we anticipated, I think, for sure. Stick around, we do have a nightcap tonight. It is uh, Sunrise Christian Academy. And Chicago Prep. And Chicago Prep, yeah, Chicago yeah. Prep, a late minute, or last, uh, within the last few days, fill in for Huntington Prep. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it out loud, the tough part. It ain't gonna go well for them tonight. Uh, it wouldn't appear so. Ain't. Is ain't a word? Ain't ain't no word. Ain't ain't a word. Ain't ain't a word. All right. It is not going to go well for Chicago Prep in this last game, the nightcap. It but is. if fans want to hang around and see dunks and stuff, this is the game. That's good D. The, notice how they switch Tyne, their better defender. Yep. Tyne now on Dotzler. So Tyne, the be... better defender. They switched him on. Yep. It, it makes sense. Probably would have done that a little earlier. Actually, I don't think they're even paying attention to that right now. <laughs> it wasn't that possession, but now they're just guarding whatever. It's a little dangerous, I think. Stuvi on the far side. Stuvi's had a nice game. He has. That's a big shot if that goes in. Oh, it spins out, though, for McMorris. Not really. I mean, it's a great shot. I'm not saying that, but for him to hit that one would have been huge. Confidence. A rope too. back at the scores table, ready to check in at the next break. 
Oh, elevator. Yep. And Williams that time missed it. Polachek does snatch the rebound. Here comes Dotzler with it. Oh, oh, oh. Off the feet, yeah. and it's picked up by Kennedy. Just let him get the lob. And the slam. Stuffed down by Manny Okatondo. Only the fourth Spartan to here, score yeah. in the game. Well, that's probably a little par for the course, I think, right? For Ooh. Yeah. Polachek back out. Jackson for a three. It's a deep three, no. too. And he's, he's made some college line threes, deep threes. Polachek, oh, hey, got the hustle play he's on the offensive gunner. rebound. I said it in the first half. He's in the game to do that. And a That's leaning shot for so Tyne good. on the other oh end. My goodness, he's good. 16 for Michael Tyne. Slow down. Off to the races we were for a second. McMorris can get sped up at times, so slowing down right there is key. Let's get a night, you know, if you're at Bellevue West, you're saying let's get a good possession, probably another three look. There it is. Why not? Stuvi, no. Yeah. And the rebound for Bosengi. Seven point Bellevue West lead, three and a half minutes to go, third Almost quarter. Almost feels like they're hanging on to this lead. Like they're not, they just have hit some threes, though, a lot of them, which right. have helped. Watch out. Williams right down Broadway. I thought he was going to turn that over and dunk it. 20 yeah, points for good, Mike Williams. This is a great timeout by Coach Woodard. Getting a little too close to comfort. 30 second timeout, just calming down. Give him a rest. Right. Frankly. Catch your breath for they a second. Played, WS played W East last night, crosstown rival, pack gym. Wasn't a close game, but still there's emotion that goes into that. And then you got to come out here and play. So Tom Dinsdale Automotive is celebrating our 20th anniversary. 20 years of building lifelong relationships, providing superior customer for service. Bellevue West, 47-42, 310 to go in the fourth quarter. Mike, if we got just a second, wanted to give a shout out to our production crew today. Yeah. We're li you're listening to, I don't know if we're, we would be considered full professionals as far as broadcasters go. Uh, but the Not me. most of our <laughs> most of our crew, high school students, our camera operators today, all high school students uh, from Fillmore Central, from York, from Sandy Creek, from GICC. Uh, Nathan Ladahoff has been on replay along with Marcus Shear, who joined us uh, from Johnson County Central. Our producer has been Damon Bennett, and Rambo has been our director all day. A big, big reason uh, that uh, our production value and quality has has gone up. You know, it's still, it's always a work in progress for us. Uh, it's not a full-time live production company that we're at. We really are an education-based uh, live streaming company working with schools across the state and across the Midwest. So this is a big event for us and a fun time. So thank you for watching and, uh, and supporting our efforts oh. here at the Heartland Hoops Classic. And I normally don't do uh, any sort of color analyst calling basketball games. But I really appreciate Except it when you're here. <laughs> I really appreciate Except it, Except for this event, I think, so the last two years. Jaden Jackson, we talked about, I guess I've talked about him a lot tonight, but um, no offer, no scholarship offers, anything like that. Oh, yeah, he kind of yep. he came out of that screen a little too quick. Uh, back to Jackson. No offers yet. I'm going to say yet. Yeah. He, he definitely has some mid-major interest right now. Nebraska is kind of just keeping him on the string a little bit. Um, he, he just doesn't have the, the height right now that people would like. He's a great three-point shooter. We've seen that tonight. Can really defend, defend. He's longer than tall. You have, you know, Summit League schools like uh, South Dakota State, South Dakota, Omaha, very interested. Have had him on campus and done all that stuff and talking to him a lot. Um, Drake out of the Missouri Valley yep. is very interested and been in to see him work out and play and all that those things. He'll have a big summer. I, I'm confident he'll have a big summer. To the block, no, Okitondo. It's not. Yeah. Nothing and, doing about that. Like, that's kind of what you would expect, you would have thought. And a rope right. runs the floor really well, and the big fella gets his left, second field goal of the game. Left tackle getting up and down out here. 
Um, left tackle. Last year, or this year, I guess, last fall was the first year. Look at that. Jaden Jackson, defensive player right there. Uh, Jacob Burrell, first time he has ever played football was in the fall of 2020, this past yeah. fall, 2022. Started at left tackle Jeez. before he got injured a little bit and then obviously came back. But um, his football, football might be in his future for sure. As far as I mean, if he's got feet like that to yeah, oh and, yeah, that and big, yeah. then goes and play. never played right, right. So like, Jeez. just there's a lot you can work with there. And he plays hard, works hard. Josiah nice catch. Kennedy. Oh. Look at you see him use his hands to create space or use his hip. Good job, Elvin Turner, right there. And then Turner gets it spotted by hey, his Okutano. teammates. Were getting back though. Yep, yep, yeah. <laughs> like, Bellevue has team was all back except for him, so he didn't have everyone to pass it to. It's a three-point lead right now for Bellevue West, and they're going to get an inbound. If they weren't getting back, they'd probably be running at like <laughs> seven in the morning, knowing Coach Wood. Probably sun up. Oh, that's fine. A rope gets the uh, little push there from Matt Selman. Jaden Jackson back into the lineup. Josiah Dotzler going to get a breather here. Minute 26 to go in the third quarter. Give Jackson a breather. Or you got Jackson a breather. Now you give Dotzler a little breather. If you can sit him here for the final 122. Jackson comes off the three six. again. That would be six threes. He's made zero twos. He's that is made, correct. Not only has he made six threes, great deflections, four offensive rebounds. He's only shot it like 10 times. Yeah, that's fine. Turner, that time, finally sneaks through the defense and gets the layup to go. First points of the game That's good though. for Eldon Turner. Eldon Turner's done his job tonight, no question yep. about it. Even though, you know, stat sheet, whatever, he's done exactly what he's been asked. Uh, handled the ball really well, hasn't turned it over a ton. He's going up with that. Yep, and draws the foul as Stuvey came away with a steal on the other end for Bellevue West. Remember early in this game in the first half when I said, hey, through nine games, Jaden Jackson was shooting 50-some percent? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're revisiting that, too. But I'm, I'm paying attention, <laughs> Mike. I, I really am. He can really shoot <laughs> the three. He, can. he really can. He's been a little bit of a, a slump shooting the three here, but, like, he, he is such a good shooter. Man. Isaiah McMorris at the foul line for hey, Bellevue West. Kennedy back in, and Fleming in for Bishop Walsh. Dotzler back in as well. Nice little spurt here, if Bellevue West can get a stop. Oh, good D. Tyne stops, kicks it out. About a four second difference between shot clock and game clock. On the wing, Basengi. Back up for Williams. Stops. Well short. He is really, really quick off the bat. Go down. Got time. Got time. Yep. Five seconds left. Now, Third quarter. You can pull up for a three or not. And that one, nah, it wasn't the not, not a great shot. Pretty well defended there by Bishop Walsh. End of three, a nine-point Thunderbird lead, 55-46. The final eight minutes coming up after this. Live from Grand Island, Nebraska, this is the Heartland Hoops Classic on Strive TV. School. Join a community of educators and students. Get access to support, resources, and education. Your fans want for free, and there's even a new revenue opportunity for your school. Contact sales at strive.tv to sign up your school to become a Strive School.
55 46 eight minutes to go in this one. Playing without the services for a good chunk of this game without Robbie Garcia 10.6 rebounds that has been injured and is uh, you, know, you know got a couple deflections while he was in there but uh, injured injured some part of that left leg and it has uh, been uh, he hasn't played at all here in the second half. Uh, so the fact, so Coach Woodard and that staff over there at Bellevue West, one of the best in the state for a reason, Mike. Yeah. They have managed the ropes minutes, and they have managed, uh, you know, been able to handle the fact that Bishop Walsh really hasn't gone inside offensively with their post difference. Coach Woodard is one of the best coaches to ever coach in the state. Right. Not, not just now. Yeah, not, not right now. Dotzler splits the double team but draws the foul on the floor. They're going to call Kennedy for the foul. Taken away, Bosengi gets the layup. Six points for Israel Bosengi. Seven-point lead for Bellevue West. In the corner, Jackson again. That one's short. Got his own rebound, though. Make it five offensive rebounds yeah. for Jaden Jackson. That's tremendous. Stuvey fouled by Mike Williams. He's got five offensive rebounds, and they out. I mean, if you just – we're talking – 6'8", 6'8", 6'8", 6'5", 6'4", 6'7", 7 foot. And Jaden Jackson is listed at 6'1". I'm going to go All ahead right. and say we're, that's pushing it a little bit. <laughs> Stuvey pulls up and gets fouled this time by Fleming. And Jackson Stuvey will the, shoot a couple free throws. All guards have had a nice game. Man, they really have played really well. Take a look at this one from the top down. See the contact. Hoosier, your work this morning, actually your work yesterday pays off. Well done. He walked on a catwalk with his cages and stuff. I don't see you climbing up in the catwalk. I would walk up. If someone asked me to walk up there and put a camera up, I'm not I saying it was hard. It. I'm just saying the effort was worth it for that shot. Come on, Mike. I may have just volunteered myself to take it down from Yes, there. you did. <laughs> you are the first one heading up there. We got you pulling it down, Hoosh. We got you covered. 57-48, Bell West on top. Minute 15 gone here in the fourth quarter. Williams guarded by Dotzler. Dotzler's definitely Now they switch off. Stuvey so far. switches off, and Gosh, Williams splashes shoot. it down. That ball comes out of, I mean, comes off quick, too. Quick release. 23 points for Mike Williams That's in the game. That's what you call a quick release. Yeah, from from the switch to the shot. Yeah, that's great. Really, really fast. Yeah. Timeout. Real quick. Bishop Walsh, they have two remaining. Bellevue West has four remaining in this one. Sunrise Christian Academy, Chicago Prep coming up after this one. That will conclude the seven-game marathon of Day two of the Heartland Hoops Classic. Two of two of these games last night. It's pretty good tonight, I think. Not too it? bad. Yeah, pretty good. It's not sold out like it's been, you know, in the past and stuff, but it's, it's still pretty good. Previous game to this one, Omaha's West Side defeating Real Salt Lake 62-56. West Side played well. Maybe played the, really I, well. I mean, I don't know. I guess I've seen. Well, from what the games I've seen is the best game that I've seen Westside play this year. Um, got the, now I haven't been to all of them. Right, got <laughs> so. the right contributions from the right guys at the right time. Right. Correct. I think the Warriors may be still here. I saw a couple of them. Let's see if Bellevue West can finish this one off. Dotzler for Jackson, a rope, nice pass. great finish. That was a great play call. Great screen by Jackson Stewie to set that basket up. It was executed to a T. 
Coach Klein over there, I just looked over. He was like high fiving <laughs> Mike Jenkins and stuff. And the three from Michael Tyne. He's so good. He's cooled a little bit in the second half. Mike, he's only got 19 now for the game. He's so good. Five point lead for Bellevue West. Six minutes to go. Again, Still Bellevue West has not trailed in this game. It feels like they're in control. Five Drake points is Europa nothing. is using his body extremely well. That was something coming into the game. You just gonna have to reset it at the start of the game, right? You're just gonna have to use your width mm -hmm. to make, create space. So one and one opportunity here. Seven <laughs> team fouls against Bishop Walsh. Only three called against Bellevue West here in the second half. Easy. Rope is a 59% free throw shooter on the year. Well, he makes the first. This season, he's 59%. He's one of seven from three on the season. Before, well, now I guess he's one of eight because he missed that one in the first half. Wow, two big free throws for a guy that is 59%. That's huge. About eight big points for yeah, Jacob Arope nice in this game. Playing hard. Seven point lead for the Thunderbirds. Williams got to the rim. That rebound is out of bounds. It's with that little horn set, and it, I mean, it worked. they just didn't finish the execution of it. Timeout, Bellevue West. It is going to be a full timeout. We can step aside as well. We'll come back to Grand Island right after this. Tom Dinsdale Automotive is celebrating our 20th anniversary. 20 years of building lifelong relationships. 20 years of providing superior customer experiences. 20 years of supporting the community. For 20 years, we've been building trust and loyalty by treating every customer like family on every visit. We're proud to serve Grand Island and the surrounding areas. Thank you for 20 great years, and we look forward to many more. Help us celebrate 20 years of service. Stop in today. Seven point lead for Bellevue West. Taking a look at Coach Woodard and the Thunderbirds. Haven't trailed in this one. Bishop Walsh has gotten monster games from Mike Williams, 23 points, and Michael Tyne with 19. Guards have come to play, and uh, that was the key to the game, and that's what they've done. The answer back has been Josiah Dosler with 19. Only three points for Josiah here in the second half. He uh, hasn't, he really hasn't gotten really, the, really the shots up here yeah, in the second no, half. Yeah, no, he hasn't, but. Uh, but it feels like, place. feels yeah. like this is about his time to, to right, start getting right, that. for sure. He's also got Mike Williams on him. Oh, he pushed off there. Got away with one, I think. Yep, he's wide open. Back to Stuvey. Jackson out. down the lane, got it to roll in there. I thought he was going to kick it to Jaden Jackson in the corner for a three, but that was great. Good job using his body. Stuvey with seven points in the ball game, and now it's Dotzler guarding Williams. Yeah. That's why we're here. It's that one right there, and Williams gets it to go. Yeah, it's getting to that point where he's pretty fully engaged. Hey, Whoa, oh, look at oh, wow. And a rope hits the deck hard. Oh, no. Call a foul, right? Ouch. And it's going to be coming right at you here on the replay. He also had an injured back well. before the season, too. Let me get that cool top view of it. That was a collision well, we, at I, the basket. I, I think you were looking away, but oh. we actually had. Yeah, I saw that. I think we had. Uh, yeah, here, here you're going to get another look oh. at it, I think. As uh, whoop. no, that ain't it. Wrong button, Hoosh. That's right. Still taking a look at Jacob Arope. Not feeling like this is great. He had an injured back. He missed time at the beginning of the year with a lower back injury. So.
Well, the good news is getting help to his up. feet. Now what do you do? Play five guards. Five guards. That's yeah. Robbie Garcia has That's not it. played in the second half. Didn't play a it's ton in the first it half. Either. If you're trying to win a state championship, this game yeah. is not. It's not worth it. They're not even going to take Jacob to the bench. They're yeah. going right back to That's the locker smart. room. Smart. Felt, so I mean, he fell pretty hard. Right. So now you got also your sub that will come Who's in to shoot the free, the free throw. throws. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's uh, probably going to be Steven Palacio. Well, Robbie Garcia is standing up, by the way. He's not going to the game at this point. And the sub has to shoot these free throws, right? I believe so. Can't just pick. Wait, was Stuvi not in the game? Okay. Uh, I guess we'd have to Maybe check the replay again. Yeah, that's all right. Anyway, Stuvi's going to shoot the free throws. That's the point of this. Anybody, I mean, frankly, like, yes, you don't want Jacob Rowe to be injured, but for in this situation at the free throw line, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like 59%. <laughs> free throw shooter on the year versus oh and look I jinxed it golly last time you mentioned the rope was a 59% shooter he made, he made both. both yeah so the lead is eight and the bench is shallow right it's now for really Bellevue West shallow. It's about as shallow as it gets we have Isaiah McMorris the only regular oh, and man, a foul, foul on oh, the three and and one Mike Williams look at you 28 points right now for Mike Williams. He is cooking. Carter Roos of Freeman had 32 in the opening game. I'm going to say Mike's got an excellent chance at top of that. For a four point play, Mike Williams. He's cooking. That was a less than ideal foul. Dotzler drives, reach in foul on the floor, and they're going to call Tyne no, for that no, one. No, it was on Mike Williams. Was it? No. Nope. Oh, it, it was, was on Tyne. Yeah. Mike, Mike Williams, the third, looking for a jump ball there. Tyne's first foul, by the way, one and one for Dotzler, and oh. nobody else went oh, with it. Dotzler wow. gets it back. Oh. Eldon Turner made that play. Yes, he did. Again, he's only scored two points tonight. Huge play. Man, that was monstrous. 66-60. There goes Williams. Stop, steps back. That's a, no, they were going to call it a three. Shot, no good. Better Here comes go. Dotzler. numbers. Four Push on ahead. Two. Polacek gets it to go. Big play. Eight points for Polacek in the game. And the lead is eight for Bellevue West. Tyne finishes with a left Man, hand. Timeout. Those Bishop two Walsh. Guards are really good. 21 points now for Michael Tyne. Sixty-eight, sixty-two. Tyne has twenty-three, sir. Huh? Twenty-one for 21. Tyne. And Williams has about thirty. Twenty-nine for Mike Williams. Yeah. Twenty-one for Michael Tyne. Yep. But there you see the replay of the big finish, an important finish it felt like, and obviously all of these are. One guy, Josiah Kennedy, hasn't had, hasn't done much tonight so far, so. Two points. Yeah. Him and Eldon Turner are the, you know, the third guard for right. both teams. Turner's made more plays. 
That tip yeah. rebound oh, is yeah, huge. huge. And and the fact that like I'm saying one on one and then one and one and nobody moved. I went, yeah. Are we sure? That tip and rebound was huge for that. Glad Eldon Turner was paying attention like I was. I'm not even sure you were paying attention. Got a high to that. basketball IQ. Thank you. He does. No, oh. about you. He does for sure. I'm pretty sure he and I were the only two that knew it was one. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Dotsler goes to work on Williams. Nice gets play. by. That's too Can't much. get the finish though. Nearly got the steal, but it's will be called for the foul. You and I. You you missed the layup. And then I, I hate the compounding mistakes. It happens so much. Guys miss a layup or shot or whatever, and then they come back and then it's a foul. The next, just don't don't make two. <laughs> like make right. one, move on. That's why coaches say next play all the time. You make two plays, like bad plays in a row. Tyne. This game is far from over. Kicks it to Fleming That's in the corner. Deep. Drives, misses. Super good defense. Bellevue West basketball. I'm laughing because. That defensive play right there is what makes Jaden Jackson special. That was tremendous. Moved his feet well, didn't use his hands, used his length. 16 on the shot clock. McMorris. Oh, nice pass. pass. <laughs> Dotzler finishes. Eldon Turner, Eldon Turner excuse me. Turner on the assist. Twenty-three right now for Dotzler. Got a guard. Oof. Oh, they dump down to Okatondo. Back out to Tyne. Put Jackson on Williams now, unless he just switched on to him. I think. Eldon Turner. Yeah, no, he's definitely guarding. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I was switching everything, though. There goes Tyne. Missed Ooh, it. Tried it. Stuvi tried to draw the charge there. It was close, but good balance, body control. Bosenge with eight points. Getting Six tight. Six point lead, under two minutes to go. It's far from over, especially with a shot clock. Especially with the three point shooters we've seen. Well, yeah, both teams. That's and anymore. Turner got it, and a foul. Right now it's four points, but a bucket full of small plays that have added up to a lot of good things Ellen for Eldon Turner. Great night. Big free throw. Timeout Bellevue West, 73-64. A reminder that we have got one more game coming up tonight. Sunrise Christian Academy, one of the top programs in the nation, taking on Chicago Prep Academy. Chicago Prep, a late fill-in this past week. Hunting and Prep out of West Virginia was a late scratch. Some injuries. Some injuries and, and some stuff. illnesses yeah. and so. Huntington Prep couldn't make it. Chicago Prep able to uh, me a last minute fill in. So a, a thank you to them. Speaking of thank yous, uh, we, we should always mention it when we get to this stage of the event, Mike, but uh, Tino and Aaron Martinez are the uh, the ringleaders of this event. They've been putting it on for the last 16 years. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it started as kind of a way to bring some Nebraska high school teams together that wouldn't normally play each other. You get some cross classes uh, that you don't normally get in this state, or you get some geography matchups that you wouldn't get unless you were in maybe a state championship type atmosphere. And you bring them all together in the central part of the state for for a, an arena type atmosphere too. That's a cool, another cool thing is that we brought together really small schools. We're talking schools as I say this to Gordon Rushville, uh, Gordon Rushville was yeah. here today, right? We uh, I've Pretty seen, far uh, away. you know, BDS with uh, 25 guys in Bruning and 25 guys in Shickley, not playing basketball. Total enrollment in the high school yeah. is 50 guys um, in the two. And that's two schools right. is BDS. So it's been a fun event to be a part of for the last three years. 
And uh, we certainly Just say. Make sure you never forget Shickley is part of the BDS. Absolutely. I've done that before, and oh boy. You will not do that Mike very Mike Williams, often. though, with a bucket. Let's talk about more important things than that. Exactly. <laughs> 31 <laughs> points for Mike Williams in the game. And the lead is seven for Bellevue West. Just be patient. Be careful with the ball. You're all right. Jackson there kicks it go. for hey. Dotzler in the layup. Nice. 25 for Josiah Dotzler. I knew this, but Bellevue West is a pretty good basketball team. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Doing this. Oh. Good time now. Yeah. 34 for Mike yes. Williams. That is a single day. That is today's high. And it's at number five all Probably time. Bruce had 32 yeah, in the first game, five. and that was number six. So we're at least one above that now. Yeah. Six point game is all. I know. It's going to come down to free throws or just taking care of the ball. Good thing is, you just have all guards left. <laughs> right. <laughs> for Bellevue West. So handling the ball won't be a problem. Shouldn't be, right? You would like to, you'd like to think that your free throw percentage for your guys on the yeah. floor is going to be pretty good, too. Take a look at the JVC power replay powered by Strive AV. We love the replay here today. Rambo hasn't missed one of those, has he? Yes. Wonder why. Oh, he does work there. I know. I know. <laughs> ah, ah. All right, what do you do here is uh, one, drop a play to get the ball in first. And right. then you do you foul? I, I mean, how quickly do you foul if you're Bishop Walsh? Do you try and get the turnover? Yes. Well, clearly, try and get the turnover and then foul immediately if you don't on the inbound, or do you wait? I mean, there's plenty of time. There's tons of time. But know this, Bellevue West won't be in a hurry. That's the right guy with the ball. Stuvey in the backcourt, back for Dotzler. Across the timeline, and there's the foul. 28 on the shot clock and 52 on the game clock. Josiah Dotzler will shoot. A double bonus, two free throws. Dotzler, an 83% free throw shooter on the season before today. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to jinx it again. I don't want to do that. I don't believe in that. Oh, my goodness. All right, not bringing it up anymore. It's my fault. I, I know. Is I know, it my you're, fault? You're not a. It's not my fault that he missed the free throw. How is it my fault? I, I, you looked I have, at me. You I have been doing this. I have been doing this for a while. I can tell you <laughs> unequivocally, yes, it was. <laughs> you looked at me like it was my fault. That still, though, that one free throw is huge. It's a three possession game. Good D. Really good D. Dotzler snatches the rebound. Man, he can guard. And he gets fouled. And Dotzler will shoot. Two more. Mm. Jaden Jacks is pretty good at basketball. I know that. He's not an 83% free throw shooter anymore on the season. See, he makes the first one. Unjinxed myself. Is that a thing? Is that a word? Did I just create a word? Probably did. Unjinx? I don't know. I don't think you. With I, a hyphen? You ain't you saying unjinx. Hey, you made two. There it is. Look at that. Did it. Good time out here. Set up the defense, slow it down a little bit, calm the waters. Just don't need another Mike Williams three, because he can get it off in a hurry. has been fun today, Mike. I wonder who did. Well, it's been a little all over the place, I yeah, might add. Yeah, yeah. A little 
different. I don't know if this would be quite the time for this song, but. <laughs> Heartland Event Center here on the State Fairgrounds in Grand Island, Nebraska. Thanks for joining us tonight, wherever you might be listening and watching us from. Sunrise Christian Academy and Chicago Prep Academy coming up next. Nine point Thunderbird lead. Bellevue West, the only team with a timeout. Should there be a jump ball, it does favor Bishop Walsh. Dean. Where's Mike? Oh, Eldon Turner guarding Mike Williams right now. Let's switch everything anyway. Oh, that Williams. was a tough shot. That is tough. Double clutch. Jeez. That's going to be the game, I think. That should be Kennedy with the foul there on Dotzler. You know, it's only 7.38 Central Time. Did you know that? I did. Because I could see that on my watch. Look, Feels at, Coach like Woodard. Look at Coach Woodard. It's just main man Steve Klein over there. It's just a cool as a cucumber. How many conversations do you think those two have had? A lot. Like thousands in their life. Most about, mostly probably about what Coach Klein's going to eat for dinner. <laughs> How long have they been coaching oh, together? Like, like ever, uh, right? Yeah, it like, feels like a long time. Like Dr. Naismith if nails you the ask peach Coach basket. If you ask Coach Woodard too long. <laughs> too long like Coach Klein's dinner or lunch today. An 11-point lead with 18 seconds left. Bellevue West is uh, going to put the state of Nebraska 2-0 against the national teams. Yeah, in this event and this oh year. another block look at that Jamie even Jackson oh now he's Throw excited about it too yeah he likes he wanted that, one. that dunk Jaden Jackson seals the game with a block right because everyone had that on their bingo card 80 to 69 your finals count here tonight wonderful <laughs> wonderful game by the Bellevue West Thunderbirds let's uh let's run down scoring real quick Jacob Arope we hope he's okay yeah he, he has ice back. on his back Oof. Eight points for Jacob. Uh, Steven Polacek, big play, big play. on an offensive yeah. rebound tip there. He finishes Great with job. eight points as well. Eldon Turner, five points. Who got player of the game? Did uh, we decide that? Jaden Jackson is it, probably? Do you want Jaden or I told, I told Josiah. Bridger probably yeah, Josiah. Josiah. Yeah, yeah. 30 points for Josiah. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, but six threes, 18 points for Jaden Jackson, bunch of offensive rebounds. He stuffed the stat sheet well tonight. Eight points for Jackson Stuvey. Uh, but yes, 30 for Dotzler in the ball game. For Bishop Walsh, we got to mention uh, their scoring. Uh, Josiah Kennedy with two. Israel Bosenge with eight. 34 game high points for Mike Williams. Manny Okatondo with four. Michael Tyne with 21 in the ball game. We're going to go down with Bridget Cruz here very soon. He will have Josiah Dotzler in just a moment. Will he? I don't see him. Well, he's trying. He's working on he's it. He's working on it. That, that Josiah worked hard, man. We're going to give him a break and, yeah. and let him take his time over there. Oh, 30 points there. for Dotzler. He had 19 at the half. And went, remember when I said that he had three points? Uh, a minute and a half into the second half total. Rattles off three more baskets and then goes five of six at the free throw line in the final 50 seconds to close this thing out. 80 to 69. We're going to go, well, we're not quite ready for Bridger Cruz. Send an autograph now. Over there? Now we're going to send it down to Bridger. I'm here with Josiah Dotzler, the player of the game. You had 30 points, and man, big win and 30 points. What's that mean to you? I mean, it's a great win for our team. Uh, you know, getting to play someone out of state is 
It doesn't happen very often in, uh, in the state of Nebraska, so it was really fun to get that win. It was, and you took advantage, and Bishop Walsh, they're, Walsh, they're no joke. They're known very well, so you know, what was the message, or at least the thought process going into a game like this? Uh, we knew they had some tough players, and uh, we knew they were going to hit tough shots even when we played great defense. Uh, but the goal for our team today was just stick together, be fundamental, and I felt like we did that as a team. You absolutely did. And my last question for you, man, it's kind of tough to get to you. You got fans, you got family, you got everybody asking for autographs. How is that, you know, living is one of the stars in Nebraska? Yeah, I mean, I try not to think too much about it, you know, try to stay humble. But, you know, I love Nebraska. That's one reason why I stayed here. And so uh, I love my Nebraska fans. Absolutely. And we love you, Josiah Dodson. Thank you for the interview, man, and good game. Thank you. All right, back to you guys. All right, thanks a lot, Bridger and Josiah Dosler. Fantastic job, 30 points for Josiah. Bridger's, by the way, has been here all day. He announced Good the first you. game. He's gonna. I've do been here the all day line. too. I, yeah, but you have. You've been here all day too. I've been working. You've I've been, been working. working all day. I We've know. all been working all day. Anyway, all right, I get go. It. I get. It. Uh, really nice win for for Bellevue West, 80-69. Your final takeaways from this one. One, uh, Bellevue West, real deal. The, again, like not surprising that they won this game at all. Right. Um, I. Even, I'm telling you, 10 minutes before the game, so I was like, you think they got a chance? Uh, and I looked at the person, I said, absolutely. Absolutely, they got a chance. Um, they're really good, really good team. Um, one of the more dominant teams by numbers that we've seen in Nebraska in uh, maybe, I mean, it's it's going to be up there by right. the end of it. Um, it's just competition level low down this year. But anyway, this game kind of key takeaway is, they got it done without any big, really, at right. all. I mean, Jacob Burrell played his guts out tonight. Robbie Garcia's been their starter all year. He's got an ankle, it looks like. He's hurt. Um, no Jaden Bullion didn't make the trip today. Um, so, but <laughs> their three guards are the key to that. Josiah Dolzer's really good. Um, had 34, 30 points tonight? 30. Yeah. Uh, Mike Williams, the third, had 34, hit some huge shots. I, Eldon Turner and Jaden Jackson made little tiny key plays. Not really stat sheet stuff, but a little bit of it too. Like tip ball deflections. Um, Eldon Turner on the offensive rebound and the one and one. That was basically the, the game. Right. Um, and then he tipped it uh, to Josiah Dolzer. So, uh, really good win for Bellevue West uh, after a pretty emotional, I guess, night last night being their rival, Bellevue East. Yep. 22 and 0 on the season now for the Thunderbirds. Uh, we will be looking forward to got uh, a big one Friday against Gretna, right? And Gretna, uh, uh, even with the uh, loss at the, yeah, at the buzzer be, in overtime yeah, last night, a good team. The nightcap is coming up next. It's Wichita's Sunrise Christian Academy taking on Chicago Prep Sports Academy. There's going to be a lot of dunks. It's going to be fun. We might have the replay button ready for that yeah. one. Just saying. Stick with us. We'll have more from the Heartland Hoops Classic in Grand Island, Nebraska, coming up on Strive TV. Dinsdale Automotive is celebrating our 20th anniversary, 20 years of building lifelong relationships, providing superior customer service, and supporting the community. 
Stop by Dinsdale Hyundai and experience the Ionic 5, Motor Trend's 2023 SUV of the year, with ultra-fast charging time, 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes, and a range of over 300 miles. The Ionic 5 is a game changer. Discover all the premium features at an affordable price. Help us celebrate 20 years of service. Stop in today. Tom Dinsdale Automotive is celebrating our 20th anniversary. 20 years of building lifelong relationships. 20 years of providing superior